Palmer passing like executive orders like basically every day, man, I'm trying to take away your, your God given rights. Alright? Economy ain't shit. We out here to uh to wake up our people, do the best of our capability, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, which are the children of Bible, man, the Israelites. Before we get started, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Father and Son, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of GMS that's teaching the young and truthful society, man. Barak to all the brethren that go out and do the work, man. The same way, diligently and truthful society, too, man. And we're going to get started. This is Psalm 147 and 19. He sheweth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Yeah, who's Jacob, man? Jacob is the progenitor of the nation of Israel, man. The father of the, the uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right, all right. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Yeah, I say he has not done with any other, he has not dealt with so with any other nations, man. Like the so-called white man, which he's actually read, he's a piece of shit. Africans, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Arabs. If you're not a Negro, Latino, Native American, man, the Lord hates your motherfucking ass. That's right. All right. The Lord only dealing with the elect, man. You a two-thirds, the Lord hates your monkey ass too, man. That's right. That's it. This is Surah 17 and 17. For in the division of the nations of the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people. Yeah, man. So it was a division, man. The Lord never, the, the Lord never made it to a point that everybody's supposed to come together, man. That's that Babylonian shit, that Babylonian doctrine, man. That's the same thing they tried doing Babylon, man. The Lord brought that bullshit down, man. Yeah. But Israel is the Lord's portion. Yeah, Israel, man, is the Lord's portion, man. The Lord only dealing with the Israelites. You go anywhere in in the Bible, man, any book, he's only talking to the Israelites, man, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. That's the Lord's portion, man. Whom being his firstborn, he nurtured with discipline and giving him the light of his love, doth not forsake him. Yeah, what's the light of his love, man? The, these law statutes and these law statutes and commandments, man. But this is light writing, this is this is love, right? This help, this help you live your life in a righteous way, man. And hopefully, man, through the spirit of the Lord, Lord willing, man, you'll get salvation. Therefore, all their works are as the sun before him, and his eyes are continually upon their way. Yeah, man, the Lord see everything we do, man, because he's our father. Your father see everything you do, man. Your father, your father only cares about you. He don't care about little Johnny, little Suey running down the street and shit, man. He only cares about his seed, man. And, and it so happened to be that we're of the Lord, man, the, the Israelites, all right? So he only sees us and he only cares about us, man. The heathens, people, people outside of the nation of Israel, man, like Oxeth, fuck them, man. The Lord not dealing with them. That's it. Yeah. This is Isaiah. 44 and 1. Yet now, hear Jacob, hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Yeah, man. The Lord, that, that goes back to show that the Lord is only dealing with the Israelites, man. All right, we're his, we're his servants. He chosen us, man. Out of every family on earth, he chose us, man, to be his people, all right? The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We, we not Negroes. We not Spicks. We not wetbacks. We we not none of that bullshit, man. We're a world we're a world race, man. Yasharala, all right. He prints power. We're 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 power of the Lord, man. All right. So if you if you live in if you live in a fucked up in a fucked up mind frame, you thinking you a nigga or you just a spick, you ain't worth nothing, man. Step up the way you think, man, because you're a special person, man. The Lord loves you, man. Let me say something. Like you got the um, government, Obama, you try bringing that new world order. So that's gonna be like one bank, one religious. One everything, man. Going back to the Tower of Babel, man. Same way the Lord destroyed that shit, the Lord gonna destroy um, the New World Order. That's, That's right, right, man. That's right. Cause it ain't about bringing everybody together, man. That's right. The Most High is racist. They can't, they can't even, they can't even bring that New World Order to shit the way to fruition the way they want it, man. The Lord gonna stop that shit, man. He saw the so-called white man. He's a dumbass, man. He's a piece of shit. Right now he's only on top cause the Lord put him on top, man. All right. 
Don't, don't think, don't think the, the so-called white man is superior to anybody, man. He's actually the lowest piece of shit on the planet of Earth, man. That's right. All right? The doo-doo that come out your ass got more value than Esau, man. Esau the piece of shit, man. That's right. Okay. This is Isaiah 1 and 3. The ox know of his owner, and the ass his master's crib. Yeah, the two, the two most stubborn animals, man. The two most stubborn animals that you can have on your farm, that you can have on your land or whatever, man. They know they masters, man. Go ahead. But Israel does not know. My people does not consider. Yeah, man. The, the, the average Negro, Latino, and Native American, they don't know they master, man. They still pray to this piece of shit right here. Cesare Bonjour. A fucking mortal man that walked the earth, man. He's a piece of shit. That's not our, that's not our, that's not our Lord, man. They still praying to, uh, to Muhammad, to, to all type of bullshit, man. None of them calling on, on Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. None of two thirds. Only, only the elect, man. Only the elect know about. We're not saying this is the Lord exactly, but this is a depiction of the Lord, man. Only the elect know about Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. But you got some two thirds that know the name too, such as name, such as Bobalaj Gahena, all these motherfucking fake prophets, man. They ask you to get to death, man. That's what? Just because you have the name, don't mean your ass gonna be safe, man. This is Jeremiah chapter four, verse twenty-two. For my people is foolish; they have not known me. They are sottish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil. But to do good, they have no knowledge. Yeah, man. The average Negro, Latino, and Native American, man, two thirds, they down, they down to do anything wicked, man. But you bring out anything about the scriptures, they don't want to hear it. You start telling the so-called white man is the devil, they don't want to hear it. They say you're going to hell, man. Or they say you're a conspiracy theorist when you say, oh, these crackers actually trying to bring this new world order to, to uh, fruition. Or the mark of the beast is the RFID chip. They just go, go and buck up, man. But if a so-called white man would have came and told them the same thing that I told them, they, they would have sucked that shit up, man. They would have ate it, man. Our people, our people stupid, man. Our people, our people straight idiots, man. Mind fuck. And, and they don't value themselves. They don't value themselves. That's why they look up to the so-called white man. A piece of shit that have no pigmentation in his skin. A piece of shit that can't even stand in the sun, man. Without getting sunburned or skin cancer. That piece of shit. That's the piece of shit they look up to, man. A piece of shit that smell like bologna and wet dogs when they rain, man. That's what they love. That's what they look up to, man. You keep on looking up to the so-called white man. You all gonna kill your monkey ass. That's right. right. Yeah, that's it. This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 5. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech. Yeah, man. We're not sent to nobody of a strange speech, man. We sent... Prophets that you see out here, man, GMS, man, we sit out here to our own people, man. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. We might speak a different language, but we all vibe the same. We all got the same vibration. We all dance the same, same flavor. We all basically like the same thing, man. Go ahead. For thou art not sent to a people of strange speech and of an hard language, uh -huh. but to the house of Israel. Yeah, to the house of Israel, man. Our own brethren, man. Our own brothers. Go ahead. Not too many people of a strange speech and of an hard language whose words thou cannot, that canst understand. Yeah, they, they understand everything we're saying, man. Go ahead. Surely had I sent thee to them, they would have heard, I mean, Salakia. Surely had I sent them thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. Yeah, man, if the Lord would have sent us to some fucking heathens, man, to some fucking gooks, some Chinese, some Japanese, a so-called white man, a fucking Arab. They would have listened, man. They would have hearkened. They would have took notes. All right. They would have been like, how you know I'm an Israelite? Can you show me? Can you break it down to me? Can you show me a scripture? When you guys going to be out here so I can come bring my family and friends, you know? You guys got a website, an email address, somewhere we can contact you. But our people, we tell them week in and week out, man, that you the chosen people. All they do is laugh, scoff, mock, bullshit us, man. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. Yeah, man. The average Negro, Latino, Native American is stubborn, hard-headed as fuck, man. E even the brethren, man. Even even the elect brothers, man. We 
every every Jake has his hard-headed ways, man. But two thirds are just taken to another level, man. All right, you try to tell two thirds you 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 a, uh, a chosen person in the Bible, man. They, they don't want to hear that shit. You try to tell them stop eating pork. They don't want to hear that shit. The Lord not dealing with faggots and lesbians. They don't want to hear that. The Lord only cares about the nation of Israel and death to all these other nations, they man. They don't want to hear that, man. They want to be entertained. That's what it is. That's they right. need the drums at the church, all the sounds, all the lights. They want to be entertained, and they love that that honey, man. They love that sweet, sweet word, man. They want to hear, we all can get along. Let's sing Kumbaya, and, and let's just walk in the sunset. Ain't, ain't none of that bullshit, man. The best thing they want to hear, like, bringing like a celebrity to the church. It's like the video was watching the other day with Tyler Perry visiting um, T.D. Fate. Yeah. And then he was talking all his heart. And you're like, man, the spirit just jumped on me, man. So the spirit just told me, oh, I should donate a million dollars to the church. Yep. So he started screaming like a damn idiot. The fans went along with it. They started going crazy. Tell my older, oh, the Lord blessed you. You are blessed, my child. Two and thirds, two thirds just want to be entertained, man. To make things worse, at the top, he was dumb talking for like 15 minutes. He had a female come up in front of the pulpit to preach. So they going off again, man. That was strike three right there, man. Female's preaching, man. She had ended. She had, she had ended the conversation about she preaching, saying the Lord name, the wrong name, matter of fact. But that's how that's how these um, mega size church go off, man. They 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 uh they skipped strike one and two and went straight to three when they was dealing with that faggot Tyler Perry, man. That motherfucker's a faggot. Every movie he gotta put a fucking skirt on, right. some fucking makeup and a fucking wig, man. He's a faggot. He deserves put to get put to death. Man. That's right. right. That's it. This is C-Rack 40, 43 and 29. The Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous in his power. Yeah, man, the Lord is terrible, man. Pain is day, man. The Lord will fuck your ass up, man. The Lord yeah, yeah. controls everything, man. What you see and what you don't see, man. The, the, uh, the mortal realm and the spiritual realm, man. All right? The Lord can fuck your ass up in, in numerous ways, man. There's over a thousand ways to die with the Lord, man. He'll kill your ass a fucking billion ways, man. Ways you couldn't even imagine, dream of, man. The Lord is terrible, man. So don't, don't, don't fuck with the Lord, man. And, and you fucking monkeys, uh, Gahena, Zabak, all, all you fucking idiots, man. You niggas should know better than that, man. The Lord gonna fuck you niggas up, man. That's right. For 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 leading the flock astray, man. For saying, oh, the mark of the beast is not the microchip. For saying the Lord could be called uh, yo play yogurt. For all that bullshit, man. The Lord gonna fuck you niggas up, man. That's right. The Lord is terrible, man. They say, so you really, maybe you see Nate and Esau and our people, maybe they don't fit them outside because she's not coming down physically putting a hand on them, man. That's right. But I guarantee if he'll do that, they'll fit the most high. That's right. Because he speak through, well, every time you hear thunder noise, that's the most high voice right there. That's right. So every time you hear the thunder noise, what be happening? You got people jumping up and down like, oh, shit. Man, that's going to be nothing when the Lord come back for the second time, man. Y'all shy, man. That's You're going right, to see a big-ass man. man, tall black man, with a voice, sounds many waters, man. They gonna tremble, man. They, that's the time they gonna really feel the Lord, man. Very, very angry too. Imagine over two thousand years of anger building up, man. That's a very hot man. Imagine being hot for over two thousand years, man. You're very mad, man. You ready to explode like a fucking volcano. And when the right. volcano ready to explode, can't nobody hold that motherfucker back, man. Boy, this is Matthew's twenty-two and nine. Go ye therefore into the highways. And as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. Yeah, man, we out here on the streets right now, man. We not in church. We not suit and tie. In the AC. We, we not none of that, man. The AC, we out here burning up, man, literally. But we doing it for the Lord, man. That's right. All right? We doing it for the Lord. Hopefully, Lord willing, we, we get we get recompensed for this, all right? But read that again for me. This is Matthew's. Verse 9. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. What's the marriage, man? The good news, the gospel, these yep. law, statutes, and commandments, man. Knowing you an Israelite, alright? Knowing that you're not just a nigga, a piece of shit. Knowing that you're not just a wet bag, a fucking spit. Knowing that you're a world, man. Trying to, trying to tell them how they That's right. Go, go ahead. I'll tell them. Uh, when it says bid them to the marriage, if you go into Revelations, it talks about how the bride is the elect, 
and Yahweh Shai is the, is the bridegroom. Oh. So when it's talking about bid them to the marriage, you're trying to tell them how they, they can enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's right. That's man. what it's talking about. That's right. Try to give you the good news and try to give you the uh, instruction manual, man, through the spirit of the Lord, man. That's sweet and honey. Milk and honey. This is Isaiah 13 and 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. Yeah, man, the day is coming. The day is soon, man. How we know the day is soon? The prophecy. We're reading these long stretches of commandments, to watching the news, to yep. seeing all this fucking bullshit Obama trying to pass, all right? To seeing that this fucking piece, this shit right here, the mark of the beast, this shit is actually signed into law. That's how we know the time is very soon, man. Fucking crackers wanna go into Syria. Russia telling you, Russia telling you they no longer fucking with America, man. Cause what, what you fucking pee on Americans fail fail to fucking uh understand is that Russia been the big kid on the block, man. You 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 motherfuckers been 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 lied to by by these fucking Americans, man. Russia been the big kid on the block with hella nukes, man. And Russia basically telling you they're ready for World War Three, man. That's how we know that time is near, man. Add, Russia been had them nukes back then so during the Cold War and the Soviet days, man. That's right. Russia was the first niggas on the block with them just like you know, you know it's the first nigga with the 45. That's right. Yeah, Russia was the first ones, man. Them Russians, man, them Russians get busy when they them Russians, man, they get busy when they come to killing, man. That's why America, after they took down uh, fucking Hitler, that's why they went and took all them Russian and Soviet scientists, man. They took them over here to, to help them uh Engineer and build bombs, man. Go ahead. To lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Yeah, man. Don't sound like don't sound like the Lord coming to have a tea party, man. Don't sound like he coming up to dap nobody, to chop it up with nobody. It sound like the Lord coming to kill motherfuckers, man. That's what it sound like. It says the day is cool, man. They say the day is fun. They say it's gonna be a kickback, a holiday, none of that, man. So when the, when the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai make his coming, man, his second coming, man, he's coming to fuck people up, man. Yeah. Two thirds of all you heathens, man. That's just gonna get fucked up, man. This is Daniel's 96. Neither have we hearkened unto the servants, the prophets, which spake in the in thy name of Salakia. Let's start all over. This is Daniel's 96. Neither have we hearkened unto thy servants, the prophets, which spake in thy name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. Yeah, man. Our people, man, two-thirds majority, two-thirds, man. They don't want to hearken to the prophets out here, man. They just make fun of us. Oh, you guys wearing skirts, you guys wearing dresses, oh, you conspiracy theorists, the whole nine yards, man. But they listen to these motherfuckers right here, though. They listen to everything they tell them, man. Because they love that, that, sweet, that sweet word, man. That they love that. Faggot, man. Uh, if I can add what these people don't understand, they so tied down to this faggot tree. They won't listen to us. They say we wear skirts. But yet they listen to motherfuckers that wear dicks on me, man. You know, the same, same people say we wearing skirts, we wearing dresses. We the same motherfuckers that's actually wearing skirts and dresses in their and they everyday average life, man. And they call it swag. These, these are the same motherfuckers that, that say we wearing skirts and dresses, man. But they got the little tie that's supposed to represent a mega size pin on their neck, man. Yeah, that it should just man. flip upside down, man. They, they, got, they got that fucking Obelix in, in uh, Washington, D.C., man. They got a big, a big one of them shits erected, man, like an erected penis. They got one here in Miami. It's down, it's down, um, down south. They got, they got old places everywhere, man. Everywhere in the U.S. These crackers built the fucking dick, man. In case you ain't know, man, uh, old places are fucking rod, man. Fucking penis. The tide right? just flipped upside down, man. Just throw you off a little bit, man. That's all it is. So that goes to show you how wicked this society is, man. You walking around and there's, there's uh, symbols of penises everywhere you go, man. That's some fucking gay ass shit, man. 2 Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13. That whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. 
Yeah, that, that's, plain. Plain, that's plain as day, man. Ain't no breaking down to that. It's plain as day. It just broke it down <laughs> to you, yeah. man. Right. You don't want to follow the ways of the Lord, man. That to your ass. Brother Sully, brother Sully, with all these laws, that's your commandments. You want to be a cool man. Death to your ass. That's right. Man. right. Death is not going to miss you, man. When death knock at your door, your monkey ass going to answer, man. This is John 10 and 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Yeah, who, who, who came to steal, kill, and destroy, man? The so-called white man, all right? Esau, the Edomites, everywhere they go, man, they don't do nothing but rape, rob, and murder. Come to your land, first they try to chop it up with you, talk to you. All that political shit. As soon down? as you say you don't want to get down the program, okay, we're going to nuke your shit, and we're going to take your shit by force, and then we're going to put our embassies in your shit, and then we're going to start we're gonna start pushing our doctrines on you, our ways of living, and our, our fucking politics on you, man. Yeah, extortion. Okay. But the Lord, Yahweh Shai, man, say he's coming, man, to stop all that bullshit, man. Because the white man, he's the one that got, that got the Lord's chosen people to this day, thinking they Negroes, thinking they West Indians, thinking they Haitians, thinking they Dominicans, so on and so forth, man. He goes to your land, he takes, he takes everything, he takes your resources, he takes your own nationality, man. The so-called white man is the man walking the earth today, calling himself the Jew, man. You feel me? Go ahead, the so-called white man is who got two-thirds thinking this is the image of the, of the most um, of the hour shots. That's right. The white man, the so-called white man, to this day right now, um, earlier this morning, I seen an auto pump, um, RT, U.S. fucking um, setting bombs, car bombs in Iraq and try to make it look like it was Iraqis that did that shit to their own selves. Like, what type of shit is that, bro? Man. Only a white man. That's the same cracker. That tells the whole world that it's okay to be gay, man. Mm -hmm. When the Most High say you're a faggot, man, you're not supposed to be surely, supposed to be surely be put to death. That's, that's right. right. That's right. And that's the same motherfucking cracker that showed you that he's a super hypocrite, man. The same motherfucker that's saying God can be trust. Or you the same motherfuckers that's saying faggots and lesbians can walk around and run around freely, man. If you trust in God, you will have all the motherfuckers put to death, man. That's right. That's why the Lord going to kill your motherfucking ass, man, for picking up that Bible, man, and for claiming that you're the Lord's chosen person, the Lord's chosen people, man, and for, for, for claiming that in God we trust, man. But you live you live totally opposite to that, man. The Lord going to kill you fucking white pieces of shit, man. That's they, right. I can't stand you white people, man. They ain't going to kill these facts. They going to let them live and give them the power over America, man. Yeah, man. Let them adopt kids. Let like that shit spread out all four corners of the world. All that shit's population control, man. That shit, all it spreads is diseases. And if it's not spreading diseases, it destroy your ass mentally, man. Imagine two faggots raising a little boy, man. Mentally, they done destroyed that little boy, man. Thinking that it's all right for two faggots to lay down and pop each other, man. Or two, two fucking bitches to lay down, eat each other. Come on, man. That's some, that's some fucking wicked shit, man. That's why the most I came out all the diseases out here, man. HIV, AIDS, right, all that man. to kill your ass because right. of homosexual. But they still not learning, man. This is 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. Yeah, who's Esau, man? Esau's a so-called white man. A man that smell like baloney. That smell like fucking wet dogs when he get rain, man. The pieces of shit, man. That's that's Esau. Go ahead. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Who's right. Jacob, man? The most the most righteous and royal state on the planet of Earth in the whole galaxy, man. Alright? The most the most beautiful people. Alright? We got the most flavor, the most, the most everything, man. The Lord blessed us with the most of everything, man. That's why every nation is jealous of us, man. Go ahead. That's it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, but Esau ugly as fuck, though, man. Look at Esau when they age, man. That's right. You can't stand to look at him, man. What they say, uh, black don't crack, man. Mm -hmm. Even though we're not black, man. When you see a so-called uh, Israelite, man, as we age, we look better, man, than the so-called white man. White man look like a piece of shit, man. Skin get cracked, skin start cracking up. All type of bullshit, man. Can we definitely time? This is 2 Ezra chapter 6, verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, yeah. and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Yeah, man, because it's right here, man, what we see every day. This is Esau rulership, all right? The so-called white man, all right? This is his heaven, man. Mm -hmm. This is his heaven, and look what he did with it. Spread chemtrails all through the air, 
got faggots and lesbians running all around, got our people confused, not knowing who they are, all right? Bullshit on top of bullshit on top of bullshit. His sins pile up to heaven, man. That's why the Lord God destroys his monkey ass, man. Uh, yeah. right. After the Lord destroys his monkey ass, it's going to be our turn for rulership, man. And our rulership going to last forever, man. Ain't nobody going to bring the Israelites down, man. Ever, man. And you all, all you motherfucking heathens, man, y'all going to know that the Israelites, man, were your fucking kings, man, walking the earth, man. The same people that you used to call niggas, wet back spicks, man. Y'all going to know, man. In that time, man, when the Lord established his kingdom in heaven, y'all going to know, man, that we was the most royal and righteous people that ever walked the planet Earth, man. And That's the word right. nigger is in the Bible too, man. Yeah, man, it got it as nigger. Just mean, just mean black, man. Mm -hmm. This is Ecclesi Ecclesiastes 1 and 4. One generation passeth away, and another generation cometh. But the earth abided forever. Yeah, that, that's for the uh, scripture that we just read before that. That uh, Esau world is about to come to, to not, man. That goes to show you that no matter, no matter if the, the Lord destroy the earth, the Lord destroy America by ICBMs, when the Lord take down the so-called white man Esau and all these fucking heathens, man, the earth is still going to be here, all right? The earth is always going to be here. Don't listen to none of these scientists talking about, oh, the earth is going to self-destruct in a couple billion years. All that bullshit, man. The earth is always going to be here, man. How we know? Because the Lord said that, man. Yeah. This is 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, Adam, also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, yeah. of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Yeah. Who's the people that the Lord has chosen, man? The Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Yeah. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Yeah, man, the Lord made the world, man, the planet Earth and the galaxy, man, for the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You see this planet that you're walking on, man? You see this oxygen that you're breathing, this water, man? Everything that you see was created for these people, man. And everybody else that's using it right now, these Edomites, these Ishmaelites, these Ammonites, all these fucking heathens, man. You ain't shit, man. You think you think you're ruling this earth, man? The Lord just let you borrow it, man, because the Lord is righteous, man. If you look in, in history, man, everybody had their times of rulership, all right? So the Lord bring you motherfuckers down, man, so y'all can't be like, oh, Lord, I ain't have a chance. I ain't have a turn. All you motherfucking heathens had a turn, man. So when it's our turn, our turn gonna last forever, all right? That's right. And y'all gonna know, y'all gonna know in that day, man, that the Lord created this earth for us, man. That we wasn't, that we wasn't just niggas, wet backs and spicks, man, all right? That the Lord cares about us, us only, man. As for, as for the other people, which also come of Adam. Yeah, who's the other people, man? Everybody outside of the nation. That has said that they are nothing, but be likened unto spittle, that has like that and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Hold on. This coming out the Bible? Out the yes, Bible. Sir. Did the Lord just say other people outside the nation of Israel are nothing? Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Read, read that back to them. As for the other people which also come of Adam, uh -huh. that has said that they are nothing. But be likened unto spittle. Hold on, I thought there was something. They I ain't thought shit. There was something. What the Lord said? <laughs> be likened unto spittle. God damn, boy. Shit. Spit. When you spit, man, you don't even look back at that shit, man. You, you don't even think twice about your, your spit, man. You don't think where you throw it, nothing. Nothing, you just man. Spit that shit. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So all you heathens. All you heathens put together, man. All you, all you on the planet Earth. It must be billions of you motherfuckers, man. All y'all put together, man. That shit. That's basically what the Lord uh, said. Uh, y'all are nothing. Y'all huh? are nothing, man. man. Y'all are zero, nothing, shit, zilch, nada. All right. That's what the Lord said, man. So, so you motherfucking, cause you heathens, y'all the most proud people, man. Fucking goops, y'all think y'all gonna be the next superpower when, when y'all ain't shit, the so-called white man ain't shit, you fucking doodle-eating Hamites, Africans, we not Africans, y'all ain't shit, 
None of y'all shit, man. That says the Lord, man. That's right. Go ahead. This is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, says the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, mm -hmm. not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of, for water, yeah. but of hearing the words of the Lord. Yep, soon it's going to be a famine of the word, man. Soon we're not going to see your brothers out here preaching this word, giving out this good news, man. Because day in and day out, man, that, uh, these fucking Edomites, these elites, through, through that puppet Obama, they passing out uh, executive orders after executive orders after executive orders, man. Basically, they're trying to take away all your God-given rights, man. They're trying to take away the freedom of speech, everything, man. So with that freedom of speech being taken away, of course we're not gonna be out here coming out telling you, telling you uh, hard-headed ass Israelites that y'all the chosen people of the Bible, man. Because if we do that, it is gonna throw us in jail or most likely put us to death on sight, man. So once that shit cracked down, the men of the Lord not gonna be out here no more, man. If We're I gonna could, be at home, man. If I could add, if I could add, it's coming to, it's coming pretty, pretty, pretty soon. Mm -hmm. It's just like I said, they were passing an executive order. Now, you um, um, you can't, you can't basically speak freely unless you part of Obama's hand chosen uh, reporters, man. Yeah, man. I'm mm -hmm. done. I'm puppet, I'm puppet, exactly. I'm puppet fucking uh, journalists and shit, man. They passed some shit, some executive order, man. You can't even plead the fifth no more. You can't, uh, officer ask you this, that, such, this, that, and the third, or you go to court, they ask you something, you can't be like, I plead the fifth. Like, I don't want to talk. Man, them crackers gonna force you to talk, man. So the time is real near, man. So y'all better gather up, soak up all this knowledge, man. I better read this Bible. And, and try to comprehend it to the best of your capability. Pray fast, you know? And hopefully the Lord is dealing with you, man, because very soon, the brothers are not gonna be out here no more, man. That's right. Now you got more on that, bro, too. Huh? This is 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 14. Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein. That's right. Death to all you motherfuckers, man. That that love America, that loves the way of America, that loves to vote, that uh that upholds this society, man, that wants to prosper in this society, that wants to be somebody in this society, man. Death to all you monkey ass motherfuckers, man. That's trying to make it in sports too, man. Yeah, that, that wants to prosper, that wants to be somebody. Cause you, man, you you supposed to work, all right, you work you have a nine to five, but that's to maintain yourself, man. That's to put food. Food on the table, clothes on your back and stuff, man. Not not to prosper, not to have a three-story house and, and a fucking Lamborghini and, and all this bullshit, man. We're supposed to be humble people, man. We came here to serve slavery, man, because we went off. We ain't come here to prosper, man. Go ahead. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. Yeah, man, what's the sword, man? The modern-day gun, the knife, any type of weapon that you can think of, man. And ultimately... These ICBMs, man. Alright. Go ahead. And one people shall stand up and fight, up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. Yeah, that sound like um, riots, martial law, man. Because when they crash this economy, alright, when they crash this economy, people gonna go crazy, man. Imagine all these people that's been working 40 years to build something, man. All these people that got uh, 401ks. All these people that got retirement funds, stocks. they're gonna go crazy. Stocks, they're gonna go crazy, man. When you find out basically your shit ain't worth shit, man. When you find out, oh, I've been working 40 years for nothing, man. The new currency is the RFID chip. And that RFID chip is the marketing beast, man. If you're a Negro, Latino, Native American, I plead with you, please do not take that chip. If you're a heathen, the so-called white man, African, Chinese, uh, Japanese, go ahead, take it. Take three of them shit. It we doesn't don't give a fuck about you, man. Go ahead. For for there for there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Yeah, it should be sedition amongst men, man. Civil unrest, and they're not gonna give two shits about nothing, man. They're not gonna care about what Obama gotta say, what the government gotta say, what the mayor gotta say. What the police gotta say, man. When when these martial law troops come, these FEMA troops, they're not even gonna care what they gotta say, man. 
Because when you hungry, man, you're not, yo, when you hungry, you're not gonna care what a motherfucker gotta say, man. You're gonna be like, I'm gonna die anyways if I don't eat. So, so what's the point? I, I might as well do what I gotta do, right? You're gonna rush, you're gonna rush your own friend. You're gonna rush your own friend for some food, man. You're gonna rush your own family for some food, man. And that time, man, it's gonna be get it how you live. It's gonna be rough out here, man. Because these Edomites, they are gonna turn off the power. They are gonna turn off the power grid. They are gonna cut off the water supply. Uh, these truck drivers, they, they're already talking about going on strike, all right? It's only about three days of food in the grocery, in the grocery store. So when crisis hit, that shit not gonna last three days. That shit not even gonna last an hour, man. So when everything, when shit hit the fan, when shit hit the fan, what you people gonna do, man? You people gonna start acting like animals, man. Go ahead, huh? A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Yeah, you shall not be able, cause when that our martial law come, man, they gonna barricade everything, okay? And it's gonna be curfews. It's gonna be a certain time to go to work. If they allow you to go to work, it's gonna be a certain time for you to be home, man. And if you if you violate that, it's gonna be severe consequences, man. The West might get thrown in a concentration camp. Yep. Or if they feeling like it, they might put your ass to death on sight, man. Mm -hmm. Right? Go ahead, all right? For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Yeah, man. All this, all this bad times, all this shit that's coming, man. All this shit that's coming is because you people are proud as fuck, man. You people feel like nobody can touch America. You people feel like nobody can touch you because you got money. You feel like, oh, I'm a, I'm a judge, so I'm above the law. I'm a police officer, so I'm above the law. I'm a, I'm a government official, so I'm above the law. Okay. You, you people feel like I pray to Jesus so nobody can touch me. Jesus is not going to help you in that day, man. Jesus, Jesus won't even be able to help himself in that day, man. That's it? Nah, go ahead. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and, great, and for great tribulation. Yeah, man, like I said earlier, man, you're not going to care about nobody, nobody close to you. You're not gonna care about your family, your friend, your neighbor. You're not gonna care about none of that, man, because of the lack of bread, the lack of food. When you when you go so long without eating, eating and drinking, man, you start to hallucinate. You start seeing shits, you start thinking shits, man. Alright? Your, your best friend might look like a fucking uh potato. Your best friend might look like a fucking tur turkey drumstick to you, man. Like the like old the school cartoons, man. You might want to eat that motherfucker like a cannibal, man because of lack of food, man. So when there's no food being delivered, when these truck drivers go on strike, when they shut down these water supplies, man, you people, man, you people gonna see, you people gonna see our true, our people gonna see the true colors of these fucking Americans, man. When, when society crashes, man. But at that time, see, you gonna see the real man on the most high, man. That's right. At that time, everybody gonna be sad, depressed and shit. But the, the real man on the most high, we gonna be laughing, we gonna have a smile on our face, and these two thirds gonna be looking like, damn, why this nigga smiling for, man? We in bad times right now. Don't get us wrong, the men of the Lord, we still humans. We we still might we still might like be a little shaky. You feel me? We still might be a little shaky, but through, through the spirit of the Lord, man, and through prayer, man, hopefully our faith stays up, man. Alright? Like these people, these people are gonna be bugging out and shit, man. We gonna be shaky, but we through through reading these scriptures, man. All these scriptures do is prepare you, man. So you, you, you basically, every time you read these scriptures, you see martial law before it happens, man. Yep. You see famine before it happens. You see the trip before it happens. You see everything before it happens, man, through the spirit of the Lord, man. We're going to have a sense of a small degree of fear, but we ain't going to fear it that much, man. Exactly. Don't get confused. Exactly. That's why I said we're going to be a little shaky, but our faith, man, through the spirit of the Lord is still going to be up there, man. Yeah. Well, God willing. Well, That's it. This is Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. Yeah, man. Riches, man, ain't gonna profit you in the day of death. In the, in the day, man. In that day, in that time when everything hit the fan, man, your riches not gonna profit you. First of all, they're gonna crash the dollar. Second of all, even if it comes to a bartering, bartering system, you cannot barter with the Lord, man. You can't tell the Lord, I'll trade you for a yeah. spot in the chariot, man. You cannot barter with the angels, all right? I, I'll trade you this, just spare my life. You cannot trade nothing for deliverance, man, 
The only thing that's going to get you a chance of deliverance is living righteously, man. Following these laws, statutes, and commandments, man, to the best of your capabilities. And if the Lord is dealing with you, man, he will deliver you, man. That's right. You cannot buy your way into heaven, man. You cannot buy your way into the chariots, okay? Just like that movie 2012. When you got them Edomites, they had billionaires tied by their way into the ship. If you had that, that one billion dollar ticket, you would not be able to get into the ship at all, man. Your ass gonna drown. That, that uh, 2012 movie is re very relevant, man, because that, that fucking cracker, I forget his name, man, and that fucking billionaire that owned Virgin Mobile, man, he has a, he has a fucking uh, a spaceship that's going out of space, man, and he have a lot of fucking uh, these so-called Hollywood stars trying to buy tickets into yeah. that shit. I know for a fact Ashton Kutcher, he got a ticket to that shit, man. Try, Cause they know they know the time is near, man. They're not like the average peon that's walking up, that's walking out here shopping. Like, yo, America's talking about trying to go into uh, Syria, man. But you motherfuckers are still shopping in this shit, man. These 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 crackers that's up there, man, in that higher echelon, man. They know what's up, man, and they're trying to outrun that judgment. But you can't outrun that judgment, man. Even if your ass go out of space, man, the Lord gonna get your ass, man. The, the men of the Lord gonna get your ass, man. The angels gonna get your ass, man. You cannot outrun judgment, man. When it's your time to die, it's your time to die, man. Now they know the Bible real. That's how they found out the, the Noah Ark. They read the Bible. Was, they said it was at this location. The Bible said it. Course, like, damn, man. I found it. So uh, the rest of the thing the Bible talking about, it gotta be real. Of course, these crackers got all the money in the world. With all the money in the world, you got all the resources in the world, man. You can hire anybody you want to go dig up shits for you. You can hire anybody you want to translate shits for you. These crackers got all the money in the world, man, so they got the resources for that. And that's how they know the truth is real, man. They know the truth is real. That's why they that's why they desperately trying to bring this new world order to, to effect, man. But the Lord gonna crash their fucking party, man. As soon as they got this new world shit, this new world order shit established, the Lord gonna crash their party, man. I guarantee you that. That put fear in their heart, man. As soon as they seen the art in person, they fear the most high at that time, man. But these crackers, man, they proud as fuck. They're gonna go up there to outer space to try to escape the judgment, but the scriptures say that heaven is the Lord's throne mm -hmm. and earth is his footstool. So if they really knew the Bible, if they were smart, they wouldn't even try to run, but it's that proud spirit in them. Well, if you pray a face, they also say, though they go up to the stars, man, they're gonna be shut pull down. their ass down, man. Mm -hmm. gonna be shut down. So don't, no matter where you go, man, you, you try to go out of space, no ass gonna get pulled down. You try to go your deep underground um, bunkers, man, your dumps. The Lord gonna pull your ass out. You cannot escape judgment, man. All right. The the time, the time of our punishment, the time of the Negroes, Latino, the Native American punishment, man, is just about up, man. And it's time for you fucking heathens, man, to go into fucking slavery. This is Revelation thirteen and sixteen, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor. Free and bond. Hold on, that's going. That's going to the. Uh, oh. That's going to this right here. Mark of the beast. Okay. Hold on. Read that back to me. And he calls it all, all, small, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand that or word, in their forehead. That word mark right there is paragma. All right. In Greek. So it's a stamp or in, in black. Okay. Let's talk about this right here. This right here, this RFID chip, man. Radio frequency identification. This is gonna be the new, it's gonna be the fucking new uh, way, it's gonna be the new currency, okay? They're gonna try to, they're gonna crash the, they're gonna crash the economy, because this economy's already in shambles. This shit ain't worth nothing, man. Yo, dollars worth zilch, man. I was watching, I was watching a video on one of these news websites called Before It's News, man. And they had an Edomite, he went into Bank of America went to Bank of America to pay his mortgage. He had a camera and all, man. He had $100 bills and all, man. He went, tried to pay his mortgage, and basically told him, man, they don't want they don't want his cash, man. Mm -hmm. and he's like, what the fuck? You know, these Edomites, like, they, they record and they document everything. So they basically try to calm him down. Sir, turn off the camera, turn off the camera. He like, nah, I'm gonna show these Americans what's going on in the country and shit. He like, look, I'm trying to pay my mortgage. I have it all here, cash money. And the bank is telling me that they're not taking this money, man. So what is what is that telling you? These people are tired of that fucking piece of shit fiat currency, man. 
because that shit is backed by nothing. Federal all right? System. That shit is backed by nothing, man. They make this shit out of thin air. That's why that's why this economy is a shambles, man. It's not backed by silver. It's not backed by silver. It's not backed by gold. It's not backed by nothing, man. Anytime they want money, the, what the Federal Reserve do, they just print that shit, man. That goes to show this shit have no value, man. Go ahead. And that no man might buy or sell, say he, save he that had the mark. Yeah, they gonna, the... they gonna, they gonna try to make it. They gonna try to make it to the point that if you don't have this, man, if you don't have this mark of the beast, it's gonna reach a, a point of time. If you don't have this, man, you won't be able to buy. You won't be able to sell. You won't be able to do nothing in society, man. They're gonna make it to a way. The only way to function in, in society is by having this piece of shit right here, man. You won't have a job. You won't have nothing, man. Everything you take for granted, every day you wake up, you take for granted, man. Without this mark of the beast, this RFID shit, man, you won't be able to do it. All right, go ahead. Say he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score and six. six. 600 three score six, 666, uh, 66.6% of our people, two thirds of our people gonna, gonna take that chip, man, willingly, all right? Cause they gonna be hungry or through a female because female, man, they can cause a lot of jakes to do go off in a lot of certain ways, man. Your kids, there's gonna be a lot of reasons why two thirds willingly take that chip, man. And that 600 three score six, that 666, also symbolize the, the barcode system, man. This is Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Yeah, man. In that day, man, when everything, martial law, when everything shit at the fan, man, you people out here, man, you people that never wanted to listen, that never wanted to hearken, you people that just want to be fucking coons, man, y'all motherfuckers gonna be hungry, man. A lot of y'all gonna die by famine, man. That's right. But, but the men of the Lord, man, we gonna eat, man. Lord willing. Go ahead. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Yeah, man. Y'all gonna be thirsty as fuck, man. When they when they shut down this water supply, man. Y'all gonna be thirsty, man. But the man of the Lord, we shall eat and we shall drink, man. Thus says the Lord, man. Lord willing, man. All the brethren here, man, are part of that number. And Lord willing, all the brothers that's out there doing the work, man, are part of that number, man. Lord willing, man, we all eat and we all drink, man. And if we can't eat and can't drink, man, Lord willing, we don't take that chip and we go out with our dignity, man. That's right. All right. Go ahead. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Yeah, man. We gonna rejoice, man. Lord willing, because we 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 gonna see we gonna see our hard work. Our hard work come to fruition, man. All right? And you motherfuckers, y'all gonna mourn, man, because y'all gonna be ashamed, man. Y'all gonna be ashamed walking by us every day. For some brothers, every Saturday, Sunday, week in and week out for other brothers, man. And all y'all do is mock stuff. Y'all don't even stop to ask what are you guys about. Y'all don't take no notes. We got Bibles in our hands. It's like, it's not, it's not like we reading a foreign book. We reading the King James Bible, man. I don't stop to ask no questions, nothing, man. And we got signs out here breaking down everything, showing you everything, man, through the, through the spirit, man. But y'all ain't want to hearken. So on that day, man, when y'all see the same bro the same brothers that was telling y'all all this, man, they eating, they drinking, they, they living, they living comfortably, man, compared to the time that's going on. Y'all gonna be ashamed, man. Y'all just gonna be hella ashamed, man. Y'all best got anything to say? You got anything you want to say? You got anything you want to say? Get uh, Revelation 14 and 8. Because the brothers out here, we can't out, man. I'm to tell you what's good, man. All y'all all y'all want to do is buck up. This is Revelation 14 and 8. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is falling, is falling, the great city, because she, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. What's Babylon? Babylon is America, man. All right? Babylon mean land of conf confusion. All right? Babylon mean confusion and land mean land. 
America's the biggest land of confusion out here, man. Faggots, lesbians, everything you can name, man. It's a big, America's a big ass, big cesspool, man. Number of freaks, man. In America.